So sleep is absolutely, utterly critical for your longevity, your mental health, your resilience, um, and how you see yourself in the world. It, it, literally, you, you, can, you can cause someone to go insane within three days without sleep. It's three days without sleep and you, you can't drive. People forget their name after three days without sleep. They, they don't know where they are, who they are. They don't recognize people that they've lived with for 20 years after three days without sleep. And it's part of torture. If you want to really break someone's mind, you keep them awake. It's the dripping tap on someone's forehead. Keep them awake, they go insane. The body cannot cope. And when the mind goes, the body goes, it's all over. So, you know, and obviously the serotonin levels, it all gets affected. So sleep is critical. I can't say it enough and I can't impart it enough. You know, I, I recommend eight to nine hours a night. Uh, and when you're tired, go to sleep. You know, don't go when you're tired. No, I need more time for me. You know, it's that, that, that's, that's again, is part of that fallout of what we we're talking about earlier, that whole technological addiction that we have to laptops and phones and social plugging in, like you said, Instagram and Facebook and all the, all the, all the platforms. Um, that, connection, that, that connection we have to that is what keeps us awake often that late at night. We'll get on the phone and we'll get hooked into stories and, of course, clickbait and, you know, all the things that we get tied into. Um, that causes the brain to change and react differently and to think differently. And what you want to do is, is when you're in bed, you want to be reading a book. And as soon as you get that, that's when you turn the light out.